Hello Midwest Fun Page. We're here at Soldier Field to see the one and only Metallica. Yay. Who's coming out first? I want to say Ice Nine Kills. Ice Nine Kills. And I'm really looking forward to seeing them now that I know what they are. Now that I know their um, like performance, performance art. Performance art, yeah. I think I, I ended up liking them, but I was kind of that annoying, snotty person. Me too. And then, like, halfway through the show, right through their performance, I was like, this is actually really good. I need to not be a jerk. And Last time we made a video of them, we didn't say some nice things about them. And their fans kind of straightened us out, and we understood it a little better. But, but someone didn't like that we thought they sounded like Avenge, which I do think they sound like them. But we love Avenge Sevenfold, so Avenged. that's a compliment from us. So I guess, sorry if you don't like them and you don't like that comparison. But if we say that we think they sound like Avenge Sevenfold, from our perspective, that's a really good thing. So up next, Ice Nine Kills. So the contestant stand, this guy looked inside his pizza that he bought. How much is the pizza here? $10.49. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> he was just looking at his pizza going, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> it's one slice of pizza for It is Chicago though, so it's very thick. I mean, we're at a stadium. Is it ridiculous? Yes. But everything in the stadiums are ridiculous. Yeah. Surprise. My son was eight, eight something. Oh man. This is the ten dollar piece of pizza. Ice Nine Kills just finished the third set. Now people are leaving to go to the bathrooms, go to the concession stands. Maybe they'll go buy the Ice Nine Kills shirt. They might be. Some merch. Oh, it is new. They didn't have this last time. Yeah, but they didn't have the TV screens on. I'll tell you how to get out of here. They are all out of beer, all out of soda, all out of alcohol. They drank this place dry. But up next is Five Finger Death Punch. Let's do a little walk through the concourse. Everybody's going to the bathroom. They're getting on their seats. Five Finger Death Punch just ended. Line is not long well yet. The line is forming right now for the men's room. Look at all the people here. All Metallica fans. Something really cool in Soldier Field is they have the old edge of the stadium. The last rows, the last couple rows back here. They're, they are fenced off. Can't go out there, but it's kind of cool. It's a nod to the past. This stadium was built 
in, inside the old stadium, they try to save the historical. Um, they, they try to preserve the historical status by building a new stadium over the old one. And here is part of the old stadium. So we're going to go inside the old columns of Soldier Field. I'm not going to say this was a bucket list thing that I want to do, but every time I drove past this, I've always wanted to come out here and see what it looked like. And see if you can even go up here. So it's a good place to hide and smoke or vape or cigars. Okay, I thought I said no, no cigars. Smoking is smoking, you know. Old stadium, new stadium. They call it a spaceship because it looks like a spaceship landed in the middle of the old soldier field. A number of years ago, I came here and I saw, who did I see? I saw U2 here. I've seen a bunch of bands here, but the most memorable one was U2. We were down in the 200s. Never been up here. That U2 show was amazing. It was a great concert. I saw it with my brother and my parents. Oh boy. It's magic hour. Now we're on the opposite side of Soldier's Field. Let's see what's going on over here. The original field went very far back and it stands on both sides. But they cornered one side off and turned into a football field. But the stands would go all the way back, way back, maybe another 100 yards. So they could have had maybe two football games going on at once. That would have been a really neat for a, like, like have two high school teams to play in. Having two football fields going end to end. Oh wow. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is why they call the spaceship. Can't go out the path. I guess this is you go out this way and then you don't come back in. I don't know why they have this fence here. Sometimes they unlock this fence. I guess you can go back in here. Well, this is an entrance. That's what this is. This might be the smoking section. Maybe not. <laughs> Oh, these people are getting let in, so security's all the way down there. Search them. And they have a seat up here. This entrance, right here. Here's the concourse, and on the other side is probably the other the other pillars, which I'm going over there to check it out because who knows when the next time I'm going to be here. This is on Lake Michigan. I don't know what that building is over there. The Navy Pier is on the other side of those trees. You can't see it because there's trees. And over on the stadium side, there's boring boxes and some concessions. Lake Michigan on this side. 
unfortunately the sound kind of stinks tonight oh boy i found the biggest stairs in the place I don't think this is going to keep me on this level. I'm not walking all the way back just to... Oh, this kind of stinks. Now I can go in there. <clears throat> We're going to find out in just a little bit. <laughs> well, I'm on the other side of the stadium and Metallica is getting on the stage right now. It's really weird because they can't hear what's going on inside out here. I noticed this when I was pulling up or when we're, we're walking up and they're checking the sound system it's very faint. Usually it's very, you know, very clear. But uh, to talk about clear, the sound is really weird. They're using these line array speakers. I guess the technology changed or it got better, uh, but you can't hear anything in my area except for the bass and the drum, and the kick drum. I can't even tell what they're playing. They're playing right now. I better get down there, so.
it's, it doesn't have to sound like this. It sounds horrible in the air. show that playing last song we want to beat the crowds as we're walking back to the hotel I thought the show was amazing there was Heather's getting her own ride oh here she is how did you think of the show uh, the show was really good but the sound was not great yeah the sound was the sound was horrible that's the best way I can explain it at a concert. It's a, yeah, it's a bummer. <laughs> I know I've been listening to some rock and roll of them, but my ears are not that bad. Please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And enjoy art. So you can enjoy other videos like this from Midwest Heather. And Midwest Jim. Midwest Jim, yeah. We're going to pack up the cats. If we see anything, anything cool, we'll show it to you on the way out. But you know this is probably not the end of the video. The band is playing its last song, doing its thank yous, and everybody's walking out. There is the Field Museum. Would you look who's here? The ice cream man. Let's see what the ice cream man's selling today. Obviously, ice cream. How much do you think an ice cream costs? I'm going to ask him. Put it nope. How much is this ice cream today? Four? Thank you. It's only four bucks. That's 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 really not a rip off. If I wanted an ice cream, I probably would have bought one from him. Watch out for this guy. <laughs> Friday night, Pantera. Here's another ice cream guy. I'm seeing prices over here. Smart the ice cream guy to be selling ice cream tonight. 